Antoinette here. I am just going to go over a quick overview of how you register for your classes using the, the new registration tool EDUNAV. So you will log into your MyCNM account using your CNM credentials. Once you are logged in, it will bring you to your welcome page. On your welcome page under welcome, you're going to click on registration and that will bring you to the registration page. Then you are going to go click on register for classes. Once you click register for classes, it will bring you to your EDUNAV dashboard. On your EDUNAV dashboard, you will see that you have your declared major and your name. This will give you a timeline of how long it will take you to complete your degree. On here, you will have the courses that are needed for your terms. If you do have uh, anything other than a valid plan here, you can check on check my plan and it will take you to a valid plan. On your plan, you will see that you have how many credit hours, the term, and how many courses. You can register for your courses. If you click on this change button here, you can click on mark to register. You can change the course and you can replace it with another course. If you are registered in a course already, you can click on the change button and mark to drop the course. Now if we were to click on mark to drop or mark to register, you will see that you still need to click on the update registration in order to complete the process. If you do not click on update registration, you will not be registered in the course or you will not be dropping the course. From here, you can access the schedule of classes by going to add a course. You can look for the course that you are wanting by typing in part of the course. So you can get to your courses here. You can try looking by instructor. Um, you can also change where you would like your courses, what type of courses you would like. You can click on the course and it will give you all the courses for that term with the CRNs and the instructors. It will tell you if the course is available or if there's a wait list for the course. You can also click on your progress bar. In your progress bar you will see how many requirements have you have completed and how many requirements you still need. It will tell you how many credits are totaled. It will tell you if you're registered in any of the courses, what you still need, and how many credits, if any, that you will still need for that particular requirement. And it will list all the courses that are still um, required for the program approved electives for the degree. You can also click on requirements and that will give you another breakdown of your requirements. You can download it and actually print it so that way you have that in hand um, with paper. We're just going to go ahead and close that. We are going to go back to our plan. As you can see because I made uh, some type of change that it is asking me to check my plan. I am just going to cancel this and then if you were to check your plan it would give you back a valid plan. You can review other plans that you and your advisors have gone over. So if you go to timeline, you will want to pick the most current plan that you and your advisor has chose for you and click view and that will take you back to the most current plan that you and your advisor have went over. You can scroll all the way down and if you were to click on change, as you can see it, it says this program is your declared program with CNM. So in Banner, this is what we have as your declared program. You can change that here and that will just give you basically a what if. Um, in order to actually change your degree, you actually have to put in a change of major with the records department. If you get stuck in anything that looks unfamiliar, you, you are just stuck and you can't seem to get anywhere, you can click on back to default plan and that 
will help you get back to where you want. Sorry, it's asking me to save and I don't want to save this plan. So I'm going to go ahead and click no. Um, you do keep in mind this takes you back to your default plan. So if you and your advisor didn't make the last plan that you were working on your default plan, you will have to go back into your timeline and go back to your um, plan that you and your advisor are working on if it is not your defaulted plan. So again, it took me back to my default plan. It was the plan I had before that plan, um, and it is valid. If for any reason you would be missing the term, so if I wanted to register for a fall course and I wasn't able to, I would click on this add button and it would give me my fall term and I can register for a course um, here. I can put in the course or if I knew the CRN of the course I can always put that in and register for the course right here and then again I would have to click register to actually register for the course. Um, you would see completed courses if you keep scrolling to the left it'll tell you what courses you've completed and the grades you have received in the credit hours. If you should have any more questions, please don't hesitate to call and we can help walk you through this. Thank you.